I want to talk to us very briefly on the three fundamental requirements that every ambassador of Christ must have to live and serve Christ as his ambassador. If you lack any of them, you will be lopsided. Just like the tripod stand has only three legs. If you remove one, it can never stand. If you lack any of these legs, as an ambassador of Christ, you can never stand. You can never serve him. If you understand them and you have them, you, are, you will serve Christ and you will make an impact like Christ. I am here because he sent me as his ambassador. And what I'm here to teach you is what, what he taught me by himself, not what any being taught me. I have books. I didn't get them from any book. This is heaven's verdict given to me for you. What are the three fundamental primary requir principal requirements that you need to serve Christ as his ambassador? Number one is health. I didn't say healing. If you are always falling sick and rising, you can't serve as an ambassador. That's my one. You can never serve him as his ambassador without health. Proverbs 13 and verse 17. A wicked messenger falls into ruin. That's a word. If you are wicked in the sense that you are not faithful in doing what you are called to do, you can't serve him. A wicked messenger, one who either does not do what he's sent to do or one who does not do what he's sent to do as he's commanded to do it will always fall into mischief now there is no messenger who keeps falling into mischief that the that the sender will eagerly send forth no never once you become a wicked messenger and you are always falling into mischief the one who sent you will not will take his hands off you can be there on your own. Men can send you, <laughs> but not him. But a faithful ambassador is health. So the principal requirement is health. Is health. A faithful ambassador, one who is committed to the sender, doing what he said to do, is health. If you want to serve Christ as his ambassador, the first thing you need is health. Jesus Christ served the Father as his ambassador. John 14, verse 9, he said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. John 14, verse 30. The prince of this world comment, he has nothing in me. John 12, verse 45. He that sees me, sees God. Jesus Christ came as the express revelation, manifestation, and representation of the Godhead. He was here, and all who saw him saw God. He was healthy, super healthy. Never sick, never sick. Number two thing you need to serve Christ as his ambassador is wisdom. Proverbs 13. And verse 20, he that walks with the wise shall be wise, a companion of fools shall be destroyed. All the disciples that Christ took, he took them that they might be with him, and that that, that they should be with him, rather, but that, that he, and that he might send them forth. Being with him was compulsory. Sending them forth was not compulsory. That they should be with him, and that he might send them forth, and to have power to heal the sick. That's why he took them. So he takes wisdom. Why were they with him? That they, that they may learn and understand his ways of doing things. If you walk with the wise, become wise. In Luke chapter 6 and verse 40, Christ said, It is sufficient for a servant to be as his master or a disciple to be like his master. That's if he is fully trained. When you walk with the master, you become wise as his wise. Christ came as the wisdom of God made manifest. But of him I we in Christ, who have the middle of God, wisdom unto us. Wisdom. So God wants us to have his wisdom because you can't serve him unless you have access to his wisdom. You need God's wisdom to be able to live as his ambassador. Without it, you can't survive. Because God's wisdom is all about having all God has to solve man's problems in every area of life. If you lack what God uses, what God wants to use to solve man's problem, you can't be able to solve man's problem. And God does not send ambassadors who can't solve people's problems because the reason why he sends them is to solve problems. So when you lack God's wisdom, you can't live and serve God's people or solve problems for people that God is sending you to. So you need wisdom to be his ambassador. Number three, and finally for today, you need wealth, his resources. Heaven is the home of wealth. God is the wealthiest, and God cannot send you as his ambassador without wealth. You need to have all you need, all that pertains to life and godliness. You don't, you don't go begging people. You go carrying all they need. You don't go as a needy person. You go as 
a supplier of needs, as a meter of needs. You see, when you are called and said as a minister, you go to minister to meet needs. Christ came to show the poor they were out of poverty. He came to show the sick they were out of sickness. The bound they were out of bondage. The blind they were out of blindness. He came to show the oppressed they were out of oppression. He came to show slaves, those who were in captivity, they were out of captivity. They were out of debts. That's what Christ came to do. Luke 4, 18 and 19. If he sends you, you must be ready. Proverbs 13 and verse 22. He, God says, a, 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 a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. If God has sent you, he won't make sure you have what you need so that you won't go and be a beggar. Because I was young and I'm growing. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. Check the American ambassador to any nation. They don't go begging the nation they are sent to for anything they need. Because the nation that sent them is 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 always eager to ensure that they have all they They live the best kind of life, that they have all they need. Every ambassador, one must have held because you're going to show, show the one who sent it to the world you must be wise you're going to solve problem for the people then you must have what you need to do your work where you are if you lack any of this you can effectively serve as his ambassador and i'll be showing you as we progress what things you need to have each of them they are valuable if you lack any of them what to do to have them and to have them permanently you know as i said falling sick and rising is not because we must be held because a faithful ambassador he said, Christ came as the wisdom of God. You must be wise. You must always have, you know what to do. John 6 from verse 5 to verse 13. Jesus himself knew what to do. Even though he called and said, what shall we do to feed these 5,000 men? He knew what to do. So you must know what to do always. As God knows what to do. He says, well, as I see my father walk, I walk. I hear from him, I say what he says. So Christ was never stranded. There was no problem he didn't have to solve. And that is what makes you wise. If you are an ambassador, he wants you to be wise so they can be able to solve problems. And finally, don't, don't forget, you must always know that you, you must have what you need to meet their needs. You must have what you need. Even power. God gives you power to get to it. When you carry the power and meet their needs, they are under divine obligation to give you things. You don't go begging. Why many people beg is because you don't meet needs. If you meet needs, all you need shall come back to you. Christ, God may not give you cash, but He gives you power to get wealth. And as you engage that power, wealth comes to you. He gives us what power to get wealth as ministers. If I carry power and I cast out devils, they, they come back and they minister to me with their substance. So that's how it is. You, he gives you power to get wealth. He gives you wisdom. He gives you power. A faithful ambassador is held. A faithful ambassador is wise. A faithful ambassador is empowered. To get wealth. So when he comes with the power, wealth trails him, wealth pursues him. He doesn't pursue wealth. He has all he needs to do what nobody can do. So people will pay for his services. That's how we get it back. We are here to take over. Join us in this campaign. God bless you in Jesus' precious name.